did you guys watch the Kai Cena and Nicki Minaj live stream? I've seen some clips, obviously, on the whole Twitter. I didn't watch the entire one-hour thing. But according to people online, she arrived three hours late, which is hilarious, right? Um, you think I start my stream sometimes late. This woman arrived to the live stream three hours late. <laughs> but it, it, it kind of added to the anticipation. She strolled through, you know, like an absolute queen that she is and absolutely smashed it. From the clips I'm seeing, this is a highlights clip on Kai Sina's channel. It looks like a pretty fun time. I'm not going to lie. It looked pretty fun. Let me play the video for you if it's going to play. Are you going to play or not? Oh, go. my fault, my fault, my fault. I got it, 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 I got it. It's club up. It's club up. Club up. It's club up. What? What? Where's the long mirror? Anyway, she came in. It was a fun time. They had a good occasion. In it. And you know what I liked about this live stream? I liked the live stream because of what? Because instead of it feeling like a clout chase like she's trying to chase a younger audience it just felt like another way to promote your album in a fun laid back chill way i feel like a lot of these you know maybe legacy older acts are seeing how popular live streams are and they're just jumping on it just so that they can tap into the audience and think it's going to add to their album sales but really and truly pink friday had two had come out what a week already before that you're not really going to get that boost of an album sales based on kai Cena, but you're just doing it for the look you're doing it because it's fun you're doing because it's a chilled environment and you're doing it because it's a far better place to go to than hanging out with those radio stations. Do you know what I mean? So I do like seeing that sort of things and how it kind of um kind of transpired. But the funny thing about it has been a negative reaction. The negative reaction from some of the legacy media guys has been hilarious to watch. None other than the hater in chief, Elliot Wilson. Elliot Wilson had a lot of had a very interesting statement to put up there about Kai, about the Kai Cena Nicki Minaj um, live stream. He tweeted this. He said, "Hip hop journalism," and the screenshot is you know Nicki bending over during one of the dance segments of it with Kai Cena and her family, his friends in the background, you know, singing and dancing and shit. So for him, he was like, "Oh, basically saying hip hop journalism is dead because this is what it counts as." The funny thing about this is that. It feels like to me this is like his refusal to accept that things have changed and things have moved on. If anything, this is an opportunity for you to kind of realize that you have to change things the way you kind of approach them because no one really above the age of 25 wants to sit down and watch Rap Radar. No one wants to watch Elliot Wilson or B-Dot grill or dissect rappers and their artists and their history, go through the albums, you know, go through the singles, inspiration about the tunes, the way that they do it. No one wants to hear that. So they want to hear it another way and they want to hear it maybe via live stream they want to hear it maybe via a funny podcast but they don't want to hear it via the medium of what Ellie Wilson's doing and maybe just in terms of age and generation he's just aged out of it which is perfectly fine but he doesn't want to accept that to be the case he still thinks he's that guy in that regard and the funny thing about it is why I think this is really damaging is that he's just one person right he's one person but you know he's saying what he's saying but imagine if this is somebody Imagine this is like an institution. Imagine this is like a gatekeeper, like like a platform, like an outlet that has this kind of opinion. This is how people get blackboard because they feel like you're taking their spot, which you probably aren't. It's just like a natural evolution of the scene. It's less about taking up the spots and more so just things changing. And then they try to like stunt, stunt your growth. They don't want you to grow anymore. You know, that's a really sad thing about it because really and truly, if I was being charitable, I'd say Elliot Wilson and Kai Sina have nothing in common. If Nikki goes on Kai Sina's stream, she could easily go on Elliot Wilson's stream. It doesn't mean because she's going on that stream that it takes away from his platform. But in some regard, he sees it like a crabs in the barrel mentality and sees it as there's only one outlet that she can go on. Or there's only a couple of outlets that she wants to go on and she's going to go on that. She won't come in mind. Where really and truly, you should maybe try to look in the mirror and try and make your platform appeasing, appealable, um, make it a platform that people want to go to to share news of their albums or whatever it may be. That might be what you want to do. But instead of that, he decides to diss it looks like a fucking old fogey so if anything for me personally this makes me super happy because i've never really been a fan of Elliot wilson i think he, the way he chugs on fucking you know jay-z's dick and everything to do with rock nation i've never been a fan of it so to see him kind of die a death of death by a thousand cuts and him not realizing what's actually going on around him it's actually been quite entertaining to watch and then of course nikki clapped back and let him know what she thought she said the following Elliot, if you'd spit Jay Z's dick out for one second, you'd be able to happy. You'd be able to be happy for the newcomers. Isn't that how you all tried to tarnish my image by saying I'm not welcoming to new bitches in? Did songs with all of them though? Why are you not happy for a young black man like Kai tomorrow, bitch?
So I definitely, definitely agree with that sort of statement from her. So big up um, Nikki for signing on business. Uh, big up Ellie Wilson for being a consummate fucking hater. And also big up Kai Sina for having a fun stream um, that was laid back and chill. That brought the best out of Nikki's personality. He kind of brought his family in as well. I thought that was a really cute moment when his mum and sister came in who are big fans of um, Nikki. And if I'm not mistaken, I think... Kai Sinat's family are half Trinidadian, right? And I think Nikki's half Trinidadian too. So they had a little bit of a connection that way. So that was quite cute to watch actually. Let me just roll it back for you. This is the weird. This is where Kai Sinat's mum meets Nikki. And the sister as well. And they're literally bawling their eyes out, which is quite nice to see, to be fair. I'm not going to lie. Very sweet moment. Right? So, so it's quite, quite nice, right? So that was all good. All good. Well and good. I liked it. Not going to lie. Um, Pink Friday 2 I actually enjoyed. I'm not going to lie. I'm not really a fan of Nikki's pop stuff. I think all that, that Starship era for me is like, honestly, I want to cut my ears off when I hear that shit. But when she actually raps and she makes like, you know, rappy hook rappy records bashment records i'm all for it so pink friday 2 i actually enjoyed it. i played in the gym the other day and i actually listened to the whole thing so that was a very enjoyable album and good to see that she's you know branching out getting a bit fun getting a little bit quirky having a good time and obviously looking really good as well she's lost a bunch of weight as well that's obviously clear to see i think you can see it when she walks in actually she's lost a ton of weight so she's definitely been either on the ozempic or she's been doing a couple of sit-ups so big up her in that regard because she looks really really good